Hello everyone, it's Andrea and welcome to today's video. Today we're talking about all the beauty products that I loved in May with a couple of random favorites tossed in at the end. Going to start with nail care. I have been talking about OPI Nail Envy for years and years and years. This has been one of the products that I always go back to when it comes to me trying to re-strengthen and grow back my nails. I, I kind of go through phases with it, right? Two months ago, my nail, I wasn't using this. I took, I had taken a break from it and my nails were just, just noticed that they were starting to get a little bit of weak. It's starting to get some peeling. And I stopped painting my nails with, with nail polish and I just, I cut them short, cut them as short as I could, just trying to cut out any of the, the damaged peeled bits. For about a month, all I did was paint them with OPI Nail Envy. And when you buy this product, it comes with a little booklet and it tells you how to use it. You can use this as a base coat under any regular manicure, or you can do like the more intensive treatment, which is what I did for a month. And all you do is you just paint your nails with this. So let's say at the beginning of the week on Monday, you do two coats of OPI Nail Envy on bare nails. And then every other day you add another coat and then at the end of the week on Sunday you remove it and then you start again. So that's what I did for about a month to try and just grow my nails again and now they're nice and strong. Shout out to OPI Nail Envy. Thank you for bringing my nails back to their wonderful length and strength. In terms of helping my actual manicures and my nail polish last longer, this has been a recent discovery that has really, really helped. And this is the Olive and June Ridge Filler. This is just like a primer that really evens out the surface of the nail if you have any ridges, any dents. And this just really helps keep things nice and smooth. It also has a little bit of, of pigment to it, but it's just it's just like cloudy. It's almost like a satin matte cloudy kind of kind of surface that's really smooth and then I can go in and apply my nail polish and I find that ever since I've started using this, which has been over the month of May, my nail polish has lasted so much longer than it usually does, even with brands like Olive and June, like the Olive and June nail polishes, I don't find them to be very long lasting. But with the ridge filler, they end up lasting a full week without chipping. I've always been into doing my own nails. I think the last time I had a professional manicure was before my wedding day. So four years ago, it's been a while. Okay, that was a long-winded uh, chat about nails. Moving on to hair, I have one hair product favorite that I thought would be worth mentioning because with the weather being warmer, the humidity is also growing a bit and my hair isn't super, super frizzy, but it is. it does have some frizz. My hair is also really, really fine and really, really thin. I don't have a lot of it. So a lot of the traditional frizz taming products on the market really weigh my hair down. And I, I would rather have frizzy hair than have just like... This is recommended by my hairstylist and I love it. It's the Kerastase Fluidissime Complete Anti-Frizz Care for all unruly hair. So this can be used two different ways. You can use it on damp hair before you blow dry it in order to kind of help get a smooth blowout, or you can use it how I use it, which is how my hairstylist recommended me to use it. At the very end, after I finish doing my hair, I just spray on the palm of my hand, just two sprays and just take whatever, I, whatever is on my hand and run it gently, very gently run it along the surface of my hair. If you do have normal to coarse hair or thicker hair, you can just use it as directed. Use it all over on damp hair and then blow dry your hair to help you get a smoother blowout. This also contains heat protection as well. So you can use it that way, almost like a, like a protecting frizz removing serum. Moving on to skincare, I have two new-ish cleansing products that have completely rocked my world and Spoiler alert, both of these will be in my Best of Beauty 2021 video because you know I'm a sucker for cleansers. There are a lot of great cleansers that I try and that I love, but when I find 
a really, really, really great cleanser that kind of ticks all my boxes, I hang on to it for dear life. And I just know that these will be fixtures in my skincare routine for a long time to come. The first is the new Polish Choice Omega Complex Cleansing Balm. This is everything I want in a makeup removing product. It's a cleansing balm, but it comes in a tube. I don't have to stick my fingers and my nails in any pots. Instantly, you know, melts on impact. It just has this beautiful creamy texture. It doesn't, I had tried similar products in the past and some of their, their oils would solidify and clog the tube. You don't have to worry about with this. It's just nice and smooth and creamy. As you can see here, it's, beautiful no fuss it doesn't smell like anything i like the fact that it's no fragrance because that that means a lot more people can try it and enjoy it since a lot of people can be sensitive to fragrance so this is just a great makeup removing product it melts away all my makeup it just does such a great job and the best part is it rinses clean with water i normally use a washcloth anyway but if i'm in a pinch and i don't have any clean washcloths available I can just I can just easily rinse this off and it doesn't leave a residue on my skin. So it is a fantastic product. As a second cleanse, I've been really loving the Jordan Samuel Skin Matinee Cream Cleanser. I also really love the Jordan Samuel Skin Matinee Gel Cleanser. This is like a more gentle cream version of that. This also rinses clean with water. It's a non-foaming cream cleanser, but it's not heavy. It's not cloying. It doesn't leave any sorts of, of residues on my skin. Doesn't smell like anything either. It's just a really beautiful creamy cleanser. I think if you have, if you just don't wear a lot of makeup, light makeup application at the end of the day, you can just probably cleanse your face twice with the Joran Samuel Skin Cream Cleanser and it will do the, do the job. It can remove a light makeup application, but I like my makeup. I like to apply a pretty full face of makeup every day. So for me, I definitely like to use something more specific for makeup removal and then I go in with something like the Jordan Samuel Skin to cleanse my skin and I love it. I have one very bougie skincare favorite. This is absolutely by no means a necessity. It's very much a nice to have, not a have to have, but it's this Shantikai Rose Water Face Mist. This is just, it just makes me happy every time Every time I put this on my face, it smells incredible. It takes me back. It smells like my grandmother's roses in her garden. There are so many different rose water mists on the market, but this one just, there's just something about this one that, ah, uh, I just love it. It's really beautiful. It's hydrating. The packaging is so chic and it just feels so, so good. Shantikai actually recently had a really good promotion where you could find this at a good deal on their website. I do like a bougie face mist. I think it's, it's definitely an, an, an unnecessary step in my skincare routine, but it just, it's a very uplifting, happy step. It will give you a little bit of hydration. I like to apply this before I use my hyaluronic acid serum just to kind of help get more water onto the skin. But yeah, I've just been really into this. It just makes me really, really happy every time I wear it and it feels refreshing and it just smells so, so beautiful. I've been really into this very, very bougie skincare combination. Now let's go on to the fun stuff. Let's go on to some makeup. And first I need to remove this cleanser from the back of my hands. This has been a foundation that I've actually had for a long time, but I don't think I ever mentioned it on my channel. A lot of people talked about it when it first launched. It's the Pure 4-in-1 love your selfie foundation and concealer and they released a hundred shades i remember i think raw beauty christy likes this foundation she used to do a lot of videos using it and i, th I feel like after the initial hype and and all the the buzz around the hundred shades died down people kind of stopped using it and stopped talking about it so much as, as far as my youtube consumption goes i haven't really seen too many people talk about this but since I'm, tr I'm trying to use up what I have and not buy new stuff, I used up my Lancome Tanti Doll foundation and I had experienced a pretty big breakout. I'm pretty sure my vitamin C serum is breaking me out, but that's a story for another day. I was experiencing a big breakout. I needed something with more coverage and I didn't want to go buy something new. I just kind of rummaged through my makeup drawer and I found this and I put it on. The color match is great. I mean, 
one would hope with 100 shades I would have a good color match. Uh, they have this foundation at Ulta, so I would recommend going and checking it out and, and trying to, to color match in real life. Although they do have a pretty useful guide on their website too, but I use the shade MN5 for reference. And yeah, this is a really good foundation. It's very, you can definitely do like a heavy, heavy duty full coverage with it, but I don't use it that way. Um, the cool thing about it is that you can use it with a pump. So I find that if I really want a full coverage look, I use one to two pumps of this with a beauty sponge all over the face and that gives me a pretty solid full coverage. But if I want less coverage, I twist it like this and it has a doe foot applicator. So that's where the foundation and concealer part comes in. And so I just go in and I just start dotting it on the areas where I need more coverage first, spreading it around with the doe foot applicator and then just blending it out with a clean sponge. So that's, that's how I'm wearing it today. And this way I just get more of like a solid medium coverage and then I can always just go back in with the doe foot applicator on the spots where I need, you know, if I have extra hyperpigmentation showing through where I need extra coverage and I can just dot it on. And it builds really, really nicely. It's not too matte, not too dewy. I'd say it has a solid satin finish. It really reminds me in terms of coverage and the way that it wears, it reminds me of the Too Faced Born This Way multi-use concealer. I just prefer the packaging of this. I like the, op the fact that you have the option to have a pump or you can use it as a concealer with the doe foot. This would be like an excellent product to travel with. I wouldn't use this under the eyes. Under my eyes, I do like a shade lighter. I have other formulas under the eyes that I like better. My eye area is, you know, kind of my area of concern. So I'm pretty picky with, with the products that I put under there, but for just covering hyperpigmentation and just giving me a nice even base, this is nice. This actually photographs beautifully. Also, I wouldn't normally use a product like this, especially in the summertime, but since I needed the extra coverage, I, um, it's been a welcome rediscovery for me. And let me know if you want me to do like a foundation routine, updated foundation routine video using this, I will do one for you. But I, I really enjoy this. And moral of the story is always check your stash before you buy something new. I actually forgot one thing that's, I guess it's not really skincare, but it's a complexion product that I've loved for years. I've been using this product for over 10 years. They have repackaged it, reformulated it over time, but I always go back to it. And it's the Clarins Liquid Bronze Self Tanning. I'm back on the self tanning train. I don't tan my face anymore. I'm always like heavy duty on sunscreen, bring on the hats, bring on the sunglasses. I'm like somebody's crazy aunt when I'm outside. I'm just like, I look like I'm about to rob a place, but anyway, I still like to fake it till I make it, especially on my neck, you know, I like to, to make sure that my neck and, and my face, because you know, I can get my face looking more tan with foundation, but I don't really like applying foundation on my neck. So I like to use self tanning products, you know, on my, on my neck and on my chest, on my face. I never have any issues with this breaking me out. It's, it's my favorite. I can't really compare it to others because this, this just works for me, so I just keep using it. I don't have any desire to try something new because if it's not broken, why fix it? Just thought I would let you know, this is still my favorite self-tanning product for the face, neck, and chest. For the body, my favorite is the Saint-Tropez Express Mousse. That one, again, has been a favorite of mine for years and years and years. I have really been enjoying this Jouer bronzer, which I had started using again because I was trying to stop myself from buying the new Victoria Beckham bronzer and this is kind of the same same idea and I love this. This is such a beautiful bronzer. I use the shade light medium. You have one shade here, one shade here. I like how one is the lighter shade is slightly warmer. The darker shade has like a bit of a contouring capability to it and I love it. I usually just mix the two. Um, or I start with the contouring shade first, just around my cheeks and around the perimeter of my face, and then I dip in my, my brush into the lighter shade just to kind of blend it all together and warm up my complexion. But I've been loving, loving, loving this bronzer. I'm happy and sad by how much I ended up loving and using this product. This is the Hermes Lip Enhancer. This is in the shade Rose Tan, 
and it's an obscenely priced product for a lip balm. Nobody needs to spend Hermes money on a lip balm, but obviously I bought it because I'm a sucker and I am happy to report that I absolutely love it and I use it all the time. This is my ultimate ideal My Lips But Better product. It's not shiny. Um, I'm, not, I'm wearing it today, but I am, I'm mixing it with other stuff just because I'm on camera and I want my lips to pop a bit, but I did film footage of me just having this on by itself. So you can see what it looks like just straight out of the tube on my lips. What I love about it is that the color is essentially my natural lip color, but better. It just gives me a hint more definition. It gives me moisture, like the moisture of a lip balm, but it's not shiny or sticky. It just has a very natural, almost like a satin natural lip finish. So it literally looks like my lips, but better. It just gives me a bit more definition and it gives me comfort and moisture. These are refillable, which is great. Um, you can get this balm in two other shades depending on how pigmented your natural lips are. I, I didn't go for the other two shades because I, I didn't feel like they would show up enough on me, but Rose Tan color number 49 is so good. And I've been wearing this almost every single day. I start with this and then I build on it like I did today. Today I, I wanted a little bit more rosy pink. So I added a hint of the Au Naturel and Beauty Professor LA lip stain on top, just blending it out with my fingers, applying it on my lip until I get the color that I want. And then in honor of Lisa Eldridge's latest lip launch, I thought I would bust out my uh, Muse lip gloss on top, just on the center of the lips to get a bit of shine. I ordered her a fair gloss because it looked, it looked like something I, I don't have in my collection. It's something that I would love. And I also ordered her Kitten Mischief lipstick. So those are the two Lisa Eldridge products that I purchased. Let me know what you bought from the Lisa Eldridge launch um, in, in the comment section below. I think the products will ship out later in June. And when I get them, I'm going to do a little get ready with me video and play around with them and give you kind of my, my first impression. And the last fun makeup item that I wanted to mention is this eye pot from Trini London. This is in the color Fortuna. Trini London, uh, the brand reached out to me about a month ago, a month and a half ago, and they just asked me if there's anything I wanted to try from the brand. Had a, had a glance at their website and naturally I picked this because this is like a Sandra color. This really reminds me of an old Dior Mono Fusion eyeshadow that I used to love that unfortunately was discontinued and then mine dried out. I had to get rid of it. I think it was called Infinity. This really reminded me of that and the texture reminds me of that as well. The glitter particles are a bit more apparent. Um, the Dior, the old Dior Fusion Monos were a bit more refined in terms of the glitter but I still wouldn't call the glitter chunky. I'm wearing this today. All I'm wearing on my eyes today is actually, I did the Jouer, uh, this bronzing shade. I'm wearing this all over my crease. And then I'm just doing the Trini London Fortuna. I just applied with my fingers. I just applied it on the lid. And no fallout or anything, really nice formula. It's like the love child of the Hourglass Scattered Light Shadows and the Dior Fusion Mono shadows. It's kind of in the middle. I love the concept of Trini London products. I do like how everything is kind of designed to click together. There's some other stuff from the brand that I'm playing around with that I'll, I'll, I'll give you my feedback on them later on, but I like the concept behind the brand and they have some really, really nice products. So that concludes the beauty segment. I do have a couple of random favorites I just wanted to throw in here. And the first is the shoulder pad tank top. I have been talking about them on my Instagram and in, in any like random little outfit of the day stories that I post. I've been wearing it a ton. I have an older white one by Zara. And then I recently got this beautiful dusty pink one. You can find really, really great shoulder pad tank tops or t-shirts. So many brands do them now, but I feel like the first brand that kind of helped this re-emerging trend was the Frankie shop, but they're on sale for $35 on Net-A-Porter right now. I did order one in another color and yeah, I'm going to link it below if you're also interested. I ordered a black one too, but I bought the black one secondhand and shipping is a bit slower. So 
I'm very much on board on all over the muscle shoulder pad tank top trend. When I first saw all the fashion influencers wearing wearing it, I, I was intrigued, I liked it, but I wasn't sure if I liked it because I liked it or did I just like it because I've been bombarded with it on Instagram. I have a love-hate relationship with Instagram fashion. Even stuff that is very, very luxurious, very, very expensive, I feel like everything's given the fast fashion treatment because the cycle just moves so quickly. Just trying to kind of step back and just think, at my core, what do I like? How do, how do I feel in the clothing? What makes me feel good? What makes me feel my best? And that's kind of how I'm, I'm trying to navigate my, my fashion choices. It's still a classic. I mean, it's a muscle tee, you know? They've been around for years, but it's a little twist on a classic. So it makes it a little bit more fresh, a little bit more modern. And I can pair this with just a classic pair of straight leg jeans and still feel 100% on. I can pair it with wide leg trousers, high-waisted pants, and it still looks really cool. Definitely check out Netta Porter. Their sale is, oh, chef's kiss. And the sale just started, and this is, it's, it's always really, really good when it first started because they have a larger selection. As the sale season winds down, the selection doesn't get as good, but if you are in the market for some really good designer deals, Netta Porter, their jeans, they have really, really good jeans on sale right now too. So this video is not sponsored by Netta Porter, even though I wish that it was because I spend way too much money on their website. And the last favorite is a random household favorite. And it's these zip top silicone, reusable silicone containers. Michael found them. I think he got an ad, an Instagram ad for them. <laughs> it just seemed like the type of thing that we will that we will use. You can choose from a bunch of different colors. I chose this peach color because I figured if I store any like tomato sauce items in there, it won't get stained. Like if it gets stained with tomato sauce, you won't really see it because of the color. So these are just silicone reusable containers, but you don't have to worry about the lid. You don't have to worry about having a lid because they just close like this. And as opposed to stasher bags, which are a silicone replacement for traditional Ziploc bags, these actually have a bottom so they stay upright. So you can store, you know, you can put soup in here. You can put leftover pasta in here. You can put anything you want. I have one in the fridge uh, filled with some water and some leftover tofu. We just bought the um, the big variety pack, but essentially they come in different shapes. This one is in a cup shape and I have just half a lime in here. Something like this would be great for leftover salad dressing. It's just really easy because you can, you can store them in a cupboard and not have to worry about storing the lids or losing lids separately. They're super, super easy to clean. Like I said, throw them in the dishwasher. You can just use them over and over again. And they're fantastic. Every time I use them, I'm like, oh, this is such a good, such a good idea. I love to make extra when I'm making dinner so that I have leftovers for lunch the next day. So these are just such a great, um, easy storage solution because we have lost so many lids or so many lids of our old Tupperware, like little Rubbermaid uh, plastic containers that we had, um, you know, over time, the lids got cracked, lids got lost, lids got warped, and these are have just been nice replacements because we don't have to worry about lids. That's about it for me. There truly was a little bit of everything in this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you've been loving for the month of May. And I can't believe it's June already. Honestly, this year is just flying by at horrifying speed. I hope you're well, and I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye.